It's like it's 101, the ongoing on air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think. I am your professor. This is my classroom. Class is in session. This is where we teach the tenets of Lycus 101. And I see some of you are in summer school. So apparently some of you have not been following the tenets or are uh, just not as well versed as you ought to be. So, uh, class, I know it's hot and it's summertime, but it's time to review the course material you have been lacking. Okay? First and foremost, what you have forgotten here is that dating equals porking. The purpose of dating is to get laid. It's not to get to know people better. It's not to make new friends. It's not to find a study partner. It's not to find somebody to drink chai with. It's not to uh, find somebody to go to foreign films with. Someone to fill your idle time. Uh, and the purpose of dating is not to go out and listen to a woman talking about the other guy she's dating. Okay? You want to be the jerk she talks about to other people. You ask any woman who's dated me and she will tell you what an a-hole I was. She thinks she's going to ruin my career or embarrass me by saying what a jerk I am. But how can she do it? I've been totally upfront about being a jerk. I'm an unreliable creep. I tell you I'll call you tomorrow and I'll call you for three weeks. I flake at the last minute. Sometimes I flake at the last minute knowing full well I'm going to flake at the last minute when I'm making the plan. In many cases, I had no plans on ever showing up. Sometimes I just don't show up. And you want to know something? When you treat women like crap, boys, they respect you. They respect you. They absolutely respect you. Treat them with reverence and respect and you will get dumped on. No doubt about it. Let me review. You don't want to be the perfect boyfriend. You don't even want to be a boyfriend. You want to be the guy she complains about to guys she meets in the future. You want to be the guy who takes sex, gives her nothing for it, and then skips merrily along in your life uh, on to the next victim. And you want her telling other people what a jerk you are. You know why? Pays to advertise. When other women hear that you treated her like crap, they'll be jealous. They want to be treated like crap, too. Make it happen. Make it happen. Treat them like crap. Like it's 101 students believe in the three strikes you're out theory. If a woman does not put out in the first three dates, kick her the hell out. Kick her to the curb. You know what? It shouldn't take more than three dates to find out if there's chemistry between you and somebody. If there's no chemistry, move on. Because the purpose of dating is to get laid. No fourth, fifth dates. No saying, I've been dating here for two months and I haven't gotten anywhere. Forget it. Start saying no. No. Trust me. When a girl tells you that she's not that kind of girl, oh, yes, she is that kind of girl. You know when she's that kind of girl? You know when she's that kind of girl? When she meets a celebrity, rock star, actor, or maybe a uh, male model. Oh, yeah. Or rich guys or radio talk show hosts. Trust me. And God only knows how many other professions. No matter what rules they have for you, the rotor rooter guy, the garbage man, the guy with the dead-end office job, trust me. She may not want to appear to be that kind of girl to you. But she's been that kind of girl with me. <laughs> Trust me when I tell you. 
I have had sex with women whose last names I still don't know. Because we only knew each other one night. I have had sex with women, I swear this is true, who told me, well, I don't usually do this, as they proceeded to do what they've probably done with other guys who are low-level celebrities. You know, my uh, team, the boys who work with me, they've seen the results. They've been around me, they know. Anybody who knows me has seen the results. And uh, believe me, uh, it didn't matter if I was making the seven-figure income I make today or back in the days when I made $28,000 a year in this business. I've always had women. And the reason I've had women is because I treat them like crap because I let them get a taste of what it's like to be either famous or rich or successful. Even when I wasn't rich and successful, uh, they didn't know that. <laughs> you're on the radio? I remember one particular woman who said, you're on the radio? She didn't know I was near bankruptcy. She didn't know that I didn't have an actual bed, that I had a mattress sitting on the floor without even a box spring. She didn't know I couldn't afford to own a TV. I had a $5 a week color TV rental from Granada TV Rental. Are they even still in business anymore, Granada TV Rental? Well, they were when I was making $28,000 a year in the radio business. It was rent to own, $5 a week. And they were watching my used RCA Victor color TV. Oh, yeah. Now I realize I, I couldn't even afford to own that. Or when I drove the 1976 Chevy Nova, the pale yellow Chevy Nova that I got for 500 bucks that had no heating or air conditioning. All they knew was that I was on the radio. And they figured I must make a lot of money. And that's what I'm trying to teach to you guys. You don't have to be rich like me. Because there was a time when I was in the radio business and I was poor. You just got to make your own profession sound cool. Or more lucrative than it is. You own a construction company. You don't work for one. You're not a Roto-Rooter guy. You own ten Roto-Rooter franchises. No matter what you do, you just have to appear to have ambition, drive, and the ability to su succeed. I mean, women will buy you on the come. They'll, uh, they'll, they, what they will do is they will take you because they think you have potential. Whatever that is. So play the part. Pretend to be what they want. Then take what you need to get and then get the hell out of there. I can't make this any simpler. The $40 limit on dates stands. I don't care what the price of gasoline is. We never counted gasoline in the price of the date anyway. So uh, that's irrelevant. The $40 a date rule stands. And now with a recession, it's more important than ever that you boys conserve your funds and don't waste it on broads who don't put out. If the price of corn is a problem, don't buy tacos. All right? Seriously. We do not date single mothers. Single mothers already made one mistake, and some poor sucker is paying for that mistake. You don't want to be paying for the next mistake. And believe me, with a recession going on and people losing their jobs, there's going to be a lot of women who are going to, you have to be even more vigilant now about watching your paycheck. Because women are going to want to glom onto you and take what you have. Because women are the laziest and cheapest creatures on earth. You have to remember that. I can't make this any clearer. Again, it's pretty simple. My job as your professor is to help you avoid commitment, avoid relationships, avoid marriage. My job is to make sure you don't waste time, money, or energy on chicks who are not going to put out. Because after all, that's the only reason you're wasting your time going out with a woman is because you're hoping to get laid. The only reason you listen to her going blah, 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 blah is because you want to get into her panties. You don't give a rat's ass what she's talking about. You don't. You want to get laid. Get back to the basics of your manhood, please. I beg you. You may have questions for your professor on how to accomplish this. And you can certainly ask those questions by calling 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. 
There are women out there also who uh, disagree with your professor. They are angry. They may have questions. Uh, we invite women into the classroom discussion because we encourage a vigorous and healthy debate. Again, call 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. And if you're in another country and you get a one-on-one -on -one question, we've got an international line. You can dial it right now. And it is open if you dial right now. Maybe you're listening on the Internet somewhere. Just call this number. The country code for the United States is 1. The area code is 323. And the telephone number is 520-6211. I'll give it to you again. It's 1-323-520-6211. It's like this 101. I am your professor. Time now for you to make this into the party it always becomes. Some like it. Some like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. You're giving these guys way too long. Three days to get the panties. You have one day to do it. And I'm a long-time listener. So <laughs> 99. I give them one day. That's it. No, no, it's three days. But they don't want to give me the panties in the first day. Out the door. Out Good the for door. you. Good for you. It's Like It's 101 on the Tom Like It Show. Like your show. 1 800 5800 Tom. Like us 101. Chris on the Tom Like your show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Chris. Um, I'm calling because for the first time ever, I had uh, had my ex girlfriend get an abortion. And I uh, was, of course, thanks to you, I keep thinking about how many abortions you had, and I had to convince her to get one, and she finally did it. However, I keep getting calls from her every day telling me how a bad a person I am. I just want her to stop me. I told her I want to break up with you. She would not listen. What can I do? Well, you're not under any obligation to be in a relationship. Uh, does know. she live in your home? Of course not. I'm not that stupid. Okay. So you don't have to take her calls. Yeah, you don't have to talk to her. I work. By the way, I recommended after the Hail Mary that you break up with them immediately. Okay. Well. But you didn't do that. More, well, it was a little tough that, tougher than that. I mean, I mean, I, I felt bad for the girl. I mean, she took it really Why? hard by getting abortion. She took it really, really hard. That's not your problem. You need yeah. to sack up. I did. I had to. You know what would be a lot together. harder? You know what would be a lot harder? If she would have kept it. Making 216 monthly payments to her. Yeah, I know. I thought about that. And all she could tell me to keep it, they'll be cute. We get to dress them up, and I'm thinking, and the crying and the money that's going to cost to keep a baby and the babysitting was going to take care of it. She was like, well, your mom can take care of it. I was huh. like, um, my mom would love to take care of it. However, she's working. She's not going to quit her job to take care of a baby. Are we going to pay her, you know, whatever my mom makes a month? She said, no, we can afford that. I was like, thank you. So why should you feel badly about this? I, it's because, I don't know, I just feel like a sinner, I guess. A sinner? Yeah. Son, uh, if sin is a problem, stop fornicating. Yeah. You had mentioned that before. I mean, That's true. don't be a hypocrite. You sinned already. Yeah. And I took and your you... advice, Tom. I used the condom. I don't know um, what happened. Well, that's why I tell you, you need to at least ask and see if they're on birth control. Um, actually, she was on birth control. However, the week that she's supposed to get her birth control, she had, I guess... She was called in to go to work. So she that means that she means she did it. not. She was not on birth control. Not. No, she was. And then I guess she, no. ran out, she was on the patch. She was on the patch, and she ran out of the patches. And she made an appointment. I know. So she was not on birth control. Stop making excuses for her, please. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. She, I'm when you had sex with her, she was not on birth control. No, she was not. However, I used the condom. That's not the point. I told you that. Now you're seeing it. Condoms are at best a backup system, which you should use every time, 
But this is why I tell you they're a backup system. Yeah. If she's not on birth control, you shouldn't be having sex with her. Period. I don't care if it's for a week or for three days or until she can get to the drugstore. Not good enough. Okay. And with my luck, she even took the morning after pill. That still did not work. <laughs> no? And did you see her take it? Yes, I bought it for her. I went to Rite Aid and I bought it for her. Mm hmm Well, then why do you feel so badly? You did everything you could. Yeah, well, I'm no longer with her, and uh, she's really resentful against me, which is, you know... Who, I who mean, cares? I mean, I try not to think about it, but the problem is this time she calls me and texts me and emails me and... Well, you can you you can uh, put her in the spam file. Uh, you can uh, block her calls or not take them. You've got caller ID, right? Yeah, I do. I right. never pick up her calls, but it's right. the text messaging and the voice. And text messaging can be blocked also. Yeah. Uh, which uh, which is your cellular phone provider? Uh, Sprint. Right. Well, Sprint. Go. I I have Sprint too. Go to the Sprint website. And you can specifically put her phone number as one of 50 phone numbers that cannot send you a text message. Oh, really? I did not know that. That's right. So if you really want to get rid of her, you can. But listening to you talking, I'm not convinced that you're convinced. Somehow you're going through a guilt trip here, and therefore I don't think you've made every effort to keep her from getting at you. I have. It's just I just feel bad for the girl. Uh, stop That's feeling bad. You have look. You come first. You come first. Not any girl. You. Yeah, you're right. You are right, and especially right now. I mean, I was uh, I was in a company that I was working for that was making over a hundred grand a year. Now this economy taking a crap. It's hurting everybody and. You know, I'm not ready to have a kid or maybe till I'm maybe 35. If ever. If ever, exactly. If ever. I so, might add, by the way, this proves something else I say all the time. And what do I say about women who are not on birth control, even for a week? Yeah. And whoever's listening out there, it takes a, one time. I was on a condom and she took the morning after. But what do I say about women who don't use birth control? They want to get pregnant. They want to have a baby. Yep. And you see, no matter how vigilant you think she was about her birth control, uh, she was very lackadaisical about it. You know what? I'm thinking about it. You're right, Tom, because she kept telling me, I'm 27 years old. It's ready for me to have a baby. And, well, yeah, so she told you. After, right when she was pregnant, she told me that. That's now, all of a sudden, she became ready. Uh, but you see, you had what you needed. You had the evidence. Because she was took her time about uh, uh, continuing the birth control. She took her time about getting down there and picking it up. You, you can do it on your lunch hour. You can do it uh, any number of ways. As I always say about women, they don't run out of toilet paper. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. So isn't it convenient that they run out of birth control? Yeah. Don't you find right. that suspicious? You, well, clearly you didn't. But now you're seeing why it is suspicious. Yeah. I when a woman... This is, a, this is a, a hard hard and fast rule of 101. If a woman tells you she's not on birth control for whatever reason, didn't get to the store, couldn't go to the doctor, couldn't afford it this month, you don't have sex with her. Not even with a condom. You don't have sex with her. Because that's somebody who wants to have a baby. Now it makes, you always mention it, but I guess you got to really be in that experience for you to know exactly what you're talking well, about. Well, or you have to think that you know more than I do, which I think was the case here. Oh, never, Tom. I kept thinking about when I was talking to her trying to get I, an abortion, I was thinking what exactly Tom Likas would say right now. But when she told you she was not on birth control, did you think about what Tom Likas would do then? Um, no, actually, not, not at that time, no. That's right. <laughs> because you just wanted to get laid and you didn't care. Yeah, you're right. But this is what happens. Yeah. But I think what also gave me confidence for me or believe that, that to ask her to get a, an abortion was you. 
That's think, good. Because of you that I asked her to get an abortion. I think if it wasn't for you, I think I would have been a pussy, and I would have been crying, all right, let's keep it, and we'll take care of it, we'll figure out a way to take care of it. But thanks to you, because of you, Tom, I think you've uh, saved my life. Well, you know, I'm even really... though it might hurt a little bit, knowing the fact I did such a thing, but in the long run, I think it's very beneficiary for me. And it shouldn't even hurt you a little bit, because yeah. even if you had a baby, what is that going to do to your career and your ability to support that baby? Exactly. I know, exactly, especially with my career taking downhill right now because of the economy. Well, that's and what I, can happen. Yeah, I know. I have one more question for you, Tom. Yes. I'm 25 years old. How many women should I have slept with already by now? No, there's no, there's no hard and fast number. You should take every opportunity you have to be with hot chicks. You got it. Can but don't, but don't I don't care how hot they are. If they say they're not on birth control, they get, they did you a favor. Yeah. Then you don't have sex with them. Thank you very much, Tom. Now, Chris, uh, can you take me out Snoop Dogg style? Yes, yes, Chris, I can. Bitch. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Scott is listening to the show in Portland, Oregon. Home of the other white meat. Scott, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How you doing? Hello, buddy? Scott. I'm doing great. Excellent. Hey, thanks for taking my call. Uh, I got sure. a you know, for putting me right through. Totally cool. Hey, I've got an absolutely fascinating five minute story. I will keep it as brief as I can because I know Go you're right a crazy in. man. All right. Uh, so I'm a Likas 101 follower. I've listened to the show for a few years, but I made a conscious decision to break those rules for a bitch. I'm 24 years old. I was engaged to a 22-year-old girl. I know I was breaking the 101 rules, but I chose to do it anyway, and I was an absolute dumb ass for doing so. Anyway, hopefully you men out there that are in a similar situation to what I went through can learn a valuable lesson from this story you're about to hear. So I was engaged for about six months, found out she cheated on me, and because of the time, money, energy, and emotion invested into it, I decided to give her a second chance. Ouch. She messed off again, and I couldn't give her a third chance, so I broke it off. I was the physical manifestation of everything that Tom Likas teaches you guys to avoid. Be careful, my brothers. And the plot thickens. Sure it was hard for like three or four days, but I'll tell you what, the rebound has been absolutely amazing. Last week... You know, I, call, I called the show last week, and Dino told me to call back tonight at 5, and so... <clears throat> ended up... You know, I met a uh, sexual 30-year-old Puerto Rican blonde with 38E breasts at a bar. Wow. We hit it off, started off, you know, got a little hardcore. She didn't want to take me home because she had a couple of kids there, so whatever, you know. Didn't want to take her to my place, so we were trying to figure out a place to go. Hotel is out, you know, F that. So I ended up banging her in a movie booth at a porno shop. <laughs> Holy cow. Amazing. Hopefully she does not know your name and does not know your phone number or where you live. Exactly, exactly. Because uh, if she's got kids, there's other exactly. victims paying the yeah. bill for those. Exactly. Absolutely, man. I I feel so fortunate to have severed the ties, walked away without a marriage, without a divorce, without a kid, nothing, man. I dodged the gigantic bullet hammer of a bullet. So it gets better. It gets better. Now, hold on. <laughs> so uh -huh. since my breakup, I met three other women besides the Puerto Rican. I must tell you, you know, things could not be better. I got promoted at work two weeks ago. Things are absolutely awesome there. And the absolute punchline of this entire story is that after the breakup, she moved in with the guy that she cheated on me with. And this guy, remember, I'm 24, she's 22. This guy's 43 years old. The type of guy that has to buy the new Mustang every year it comes out just to attract the 22-year-old. You know, no offense to, you know, the guys out there that are doing the same thing. Hey, that's awesome. It's just that I have some personal animosity against this guy. <laughs> oh, man. So, so, but hey, it gets better. So I found out that he ended up wrecking his... Brand new Mustang into a tree all by himself. No casualties. No one got hurt, thank God. But he was wasted at the time. 
And when the cops came, he got arrested. Turns out he's that was his third DUI. And he will never be able to get his driver's license back, and he's spending a year in jail. So even if that bitch wanted to be with him, she can't. <laughs> Cause has, she, uh, she, has she called you back? Well, you know, I changed my number. You know, I've had brief contact this and here and there through our parents. You know, our parents go along really well, but, you know, whatever. But, you know, I just can sleep well at night knowing that as we speak, his so much potatoes. <laughs> Best revenge that, ever, and I that, didn't even have to lift the finger. Oh my God! Tom like it. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. I think you are the foulest piece of excuse of a human being. Good, I'm glad you feel that way. Telling our youth. Our young people of America, that they should be treating women like dirt. Yes. And, uh. They should. I feel very sorry for you. It's the Tom Likens Show. Like us 101. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi. How are you today? Great. Good. I was actually calling because, you know, I can't help it. I listen to you often, and for the majority of the time, being a female, I actually agree with what you have to say, which is a little strange that I'm a female and I actually agree with you. We have many right. females who agree with me. Okay. But I have an issue with this thing with the birth control pills. Now, I myself have medical problems. Therefore, I'm not allowed to take birth control pills. Okay? So, so what? Actually, okay, I could actually kill myself by taking birth control pills. So what? Okay, so therefore, I'm not a slut looking to get pregnant just because I, I can't. Darling, take them. once again, you, you have misinterpreted what I said. And by the way, women do this, I don't know if they do it intentionally. I, I, no, I understand. Or out of stupidity. There are the a dozen, darling, darling, it. no, no, you're going to have to hold on there, sweetie. Uh, there's a dozen forms of birth control for women. Eleven of them are not the pill. So if you're not on any of them, it's because you want to have a baby. Okay, I personally choose to use a condom as a contraceptive. That is not a female contraceptive device. A woman who is not using a female contraceptive okay. device wants okay, the is, to have is that a baby. That contains hormones will cause everything hormones. doesn't majority, contain hormones. Majority of female. I am uh, in the medical majority field. is not a hundred percent. How about a? All right, you tell me about a cervical cap. Go go over the dangers of a cervical cap. To, I was just going to say there are a few that do not require you right. to have to have hormones put into your body. Right. There are just not a large amount. However, so what? You don't need a large I, amount. You All you need is one. Okay. My opinion is, and I'm sorry if you don't agree, but I'm just sick of the fact that you continually insist that women are out to get pregnant. Well, you are. Committed. You are because you just admitted there no. are birth control devices that you could take. You just refuse to use them. But I'm not looking to get pregnant. I'm. Then why aren't you using? Why aren't you using birth control? Because my boyfriend respects me enough to use a condom. A condom is not a hundred percent. It's not even close to hundred percent effective. It's well, a backup. You method. know what? We have been using that for about three years now. And, and what happens when it fails? Either one of us. What happens okay. when it fails? What happens when that it is fails? Something we take up at that point in time. No, 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 no. He's an idiot. He's an idiot if he's going to let you take it up at that time. You no, should no, no, be no, taking no. it up now because you I know what you'll do. You'll have a baby. You will have a baby. You're the kind of woman. You are the kind of women that our men should be avoiding. You are the kind of woman that our men should be avoiding because you would have that baby if you got knocked up. You would do it. Yeah, but you know what? I wouldn't make it his responsibility. Ah, so now you admit you would have the baby. And, uh, so you've just proven my goddamn point. You've proven it. You, are, you, you just proved it. You would have the baby. You wouldn't mind if you accidentally got pregnant, and that's the okay, point no, I'm hold making. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. 
I do not want to get pregnant. I am not looking to get pregnant. If you do, you'll have a baby, and that's what people need to know. However, I am in the medical field, and being in the medical field, I understand what an abortion truly is if you choose to do it. Again. And I know for a fact that men should avoid women like you. Men should avoid women like you. I don't care what your reasons are. You prove my point, and that is men should avoid women like you. Okay, then if women should, if men should avoid a woman who works full time, goes to school full time, and takes and, care of and who, if she gets pregnant, will have a baby. Then that they should, then that's the person that they. A person avoid. who won't use birth control and might get pregnant and have a baby. That is the kind you are. Okay. That is the kind. I don't care if women sleep around. I couldn't care less. You are the kind of woman who will get pregnant one day and have a baby. And that's why men should avoid women like you. Uh, you better watch your mouth, uh, sister, I, I, because... Sorry. I, yeah, I watch your mouth. Up. You're on the air. And okay. by the way, yeah, you're just lucky that, you're, uh, that your boyfriend doesn't listen to this show. Actually, I've, I've suggested to him to listen to the show because I personally understand the type of women that you're talking about. I just am not that type of person. And I just. You're the type who feel, might get pregnant you know, and have a baby. Yes, but I've been in a relationship for 14 years. And if something so happens to wear me and my fiance. I don't care. Be that way, then that would be something that would happen to us. No, However, no. I don't feel that all women, the way that you're trying Men to. Men need it to out avoid to women like you. It's just that simple. 1 800 5 800 Tom, that's our telephone number. Kevin on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hey Tom, how's it going, man? It's going okay. She was an awesome caller. Oh yeah. By the way, she proved to be exactly what she, what I said she was. Oh yeah, man, that's hilarious. I love those girls. They're awesome on your show. It's a good laugh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just wanted to tell you, man, you're the man. What you said was exactly what I pull. I live in Long Beach, right in between 2nd and Pine, right off of 4th Street. I got bars everywhere. I'm only 21. I go out. I don't talk about my age. If I talk about work, I would work construction, but I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm the contractor. I have other people working for me. I have a couple jobs right now. I go here to there. I talk to them about other ambitions that I want to do that I really do want to do, but right now there's no way I could. Hey, hey, that. we I can't know. use that. We cannot use that word. No, I, I, I'm so sorry, man. But yeah, dude, it, it it totally works all the time. I get females that are older than me. You know, not too old, but 27, 28 years old, and it's just it. Oh man, it's dude, it's the greatest. Almost I love every that. Night I'm getting another girl. Love it. Yeah, and, man, and paying nothing for it. Yeah, exactly. I meet them at the bar. They're drinking on their own money. I'm like, well, hey. Because I tell them, oh, yeah, I got my own house that I rent. And it's really kind of a little shack. But I go on Craigslist. I got some nice furniture that I paid nothing for but the gas to go get it. Even a full-size pool table. I love and it. Just, they walk in the house and they're like, oh my God. Of course, I don't tell them I got it for free. You know, I'm like, oh yeah, that's from Ikea right there. I got that a couple months ago. I got my 36 inch flat screen TV that I paid not a dime for. <laughs> I love Kevin. I'm, I'm very proud of you. Thank you for that. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. Uh, this is Mary on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Um, I just wanted to tell you, I on my drive home from work, I happen to run across your station, and I get appalled by it and change it. And um, uh, I just wondered, did you have a problem with your Well, I'm mind? glad you changed it, so that means you've only heard the show. You do that if you don't approve of the program. I just, because every time you're on a topic, I have to listen to it. No, you and don't. I, you're right. But you do anyway. I happen to run across it, and I, I hear your voice. Anytime I, I hear a radio program I don't like, I turn it off. Yeah, and I do. I don't listen to find out what they're talking about. I don't listen to hear if they're going to play David Gates and Brad coming up after the next break. I Good don't listen. You. 
I don't listen to hear what the cute and flip and funny morning show is going to do. If I hear a show I don't like, I turn it off. You well, don't. Well, so yeah, I do, and I have come back to it. No, no, because you I like can't. it. I can't. No, you because like it. I keep hoping that maybe your content will change a it's, little no, bit. No, no, no. You never. You don't fix what's not broke, dear. And uh, this program, you. this program has been number one in man now for so many years. I can't count anymore. And so maybe we're not going to change a damn thing. Let me talk. Maybe not. Maybe I so won't. Then, and men. And I don't. Men. I don't need. You know what? This is a show for men, by men, and about oh, men. It's for men. Uh, yes, it is, and well, uh, it is I not for it is not for old bags who are past their expiration date, like yourself. It is oh, for young you men. <laughs> huh? Oh, if you could only see me, let's do oh, that. Uh, darling, I know you're well over your expiration date. Oh, I don't think so. I know you don't think so, uh, but, uh, you know, neither do a number of other women in their 50s and 60s. Yeah, well, I'm not in my 50s or 60s, but like sure I said, not. I think that you have a problem with your own mother. She obviously rejected you. Well, my mother and I had a very good relationship. Oh, I'm sure as you, as a baby, maybe. Oh, no, no, all the way till she died. We had a very good relationship. Well, are you, I, by the I way, dear, are you a psychiatrist? So. Are you a psychiatrist? Are you a professional? Oh, maybe so. Maybe not. I think that all those all those men out there listening, they're wimpy, baby ass people. I'm sorry. Oh, and there's people. no doubt, and that's why they need this class. They need me to whip them into shape so they can sack up and tell women to f off and kick them to the oh, curb when they're not giving them what hate, they and need. Hate all, and hate all women, right? Oh no, I don't hate women any more than I uh, hate a dog that I tell what to do. Love them for their boobies, right? I uh, no, uh, it's more than that. And their ass, if they let them Yeah, their, their ass, too. That's right. Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm just really sad. I'm, you must have a but, very but you should, life. But you should be happy knowing that I, I, I could never feel that way about you. I have no interest in your boobs or your ass. That's fine. I have no interest in yours, either. Uh, don't worry. You'll never get to touch them, darling. Forget it. The Tom Likas Show.